what's going on guys? Jared here with JC's Lawn Tips. Today I'm showing you guys the dump trailer again. I'm working on a tarp bar for the trailer. So the tarp mechanism was already here when I bought the trailer. I'm gonna show you guys what I made and what I plan on doing right now. So here's what I made right here. This is a 10 foot piece of conduit that I cut down to about a little over eight feet. And um, what I did is I got these conduit clamps. This one's a little messed up. This was the only one I couldn't get on there properly. But if you see, all it is is it wraps around the conduit and then it's got a bolt because this is made to screw to a wall and then this is made to tighten up. So right there, you'll see on the bottom of that, there's a, a bolt and a nut on the bottom there. So those I use that impact, tighten those up and that holds this whole tarp together securely. And I'll show you when I'm done exactly how it works, but I'll kind of briefly explain. Um, that tarp's gonna come down from the front up there, land right onto here. Ignore this strap for here. This is just holding up this wall because it's leaning a little bit. I'll put a shim in here eventually, but um, so basically what's gonna happen is that bar is gonna sit right along this metal edge. And then what happens is these go right over the top of it. And these are made for holding the door open, but I figured if I could just put these right over the top, it would hold that bar down securely. So that's gonna work. So what I'm doing now is see the guy originally had hooks right here that looked like this. And these went in the eyelets of the tarp. So when you cranked it up, it would be nice and tight. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna move those hooks to right here. So that when you strap the uh, uh, tarp mechanism in here, it's gonna be right in line with this board. So if I ever have to take the front off, you know, or whatever, that's fine. I suppose I actually could go farther, but I don't wanna crack this wood and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it back here. That's gonna give it plenty of room. Uh, it'll be all the way up to the front there. And that's what I'm gonna do on both sides. And so we'll see if that works. So I just got both sides fastened on. So it's gonna sit like this. And it'll hold this back from going farther forward. Same on that side, and then you'll see the holes left for the hooks right there. I'll probably put some putty in there, or maybe even just leave them, we'll see. Um, but basically how this works is this mechanism ratchets. So I pull this, this will let the pressure loose and I can unwind it. And you can take this tarp bar all the way back. So that's what I'll do now, I'll show you guys how that works. And this handle rotates out too for easier cranking and stuff. So you can let some pressure off of it. You can walk along the side of it too. Just gonna pull the tarp with you. Now I'm doing it this way just to show you guys on camera easier, but normally you can just pull it from the side, one side or the other. I wouldn't wanna, the whole point of this was for me not to have to get in here to do this, but just because I don't have an extra person for camera, that's why I'm doing, that's why I'm in the dump bed pulling this tarp back. But basically how it works, let me hop down gonna go over the top like this and slide right down like that and then what I'll show you is see how it sits right here all I'm gonna do now is go right over the top of that bar like that boom you're in and then I'll just push it all the way over so there's no way it can pop off same on this side push it in all the way over this thing ain't going anywhere now the tarps loose too so now what I'll do is I'll go to the front and tighten it up simply take these like that on your side. And all I'm gonna do is simply lift this, set it right there, that's it. So you guys just saw how quick that was. That whole process literally probably took 20 minutes or a half hour. That's just because I didn't have the right tools with me at the time. But I found the right tools, got it done quick. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are looking for dump trailer ideas, I know a lot of people don't have these weird hooks. Most of them are chains. I just got fortunate. And I was like, hey, that might, that might work. And you guys saw how that worked. It worked really, really good. Um, that bar is nice and tight in there. I don't have to worry about strapping it down. Like I said, the guy before had just bungee cords that were like tied off to that thing, like permanently. 
and I took those off and now it's just that bar to make things way, way easier. The only thing I'm gonna do to add onto that bar is put some caps on the ends because the ends are a little sharp, you know, being conduit. And I don't wanna get water and debris and stuff in there. So just two more caps and that'll be it. And I'll see how those clamps hold up. If they don't hold up very well, I might just tack weld them or something like that. But we will see what happens, guys. That is the dump trailer bar. Let me know if you guys like this video. If you're looking forward to more content, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more content coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.